Hey bloggers, this is Debbie from DebbieStongalon.com. I want to take a moment today to show you a couple of things in regards to files in Facebook groups. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to create a file. And the second thing I'm going to show you is how to edit a file, which happens a lot in Facebook groups because we're always adding our addresses or our names with all of our blog information to long files that we find, especially in blogging groups, to share with one another. So I want to show you how to do that and to do it correctly. This is my test group. As you can see down here at the bottom on, this, on these choices, the last item here is files. So I've clicked that and this is what I've gotten. My options here are to upload a file. So I could upload a Word document, a PDF, something like that. And I can also create a document. And that's what I'm going to do right here. So all you do is create doc. Super simple. Doesn't take much. That's all you have to do. Now, I'm going to type a test title in here. I'm just going to say test list. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say, I like pizza. And I really want you to know that I like pizza. So I'm going to use this very simple editing toolbar here. And I'm going to bold this. <laughs> and then I'm going to go down and save it. I know you're very excited to know all this. Now, this has been saved. It is now a document. So you can see it in group docs. I can view it here. And if I go back to the testing one, two, three group, I will see that I created a document. If you came into the group right now and you were like, oh, I want to add my thing to that document. I want to say what I like. You have two options. One is you can go here to files and edit or you can go into doc and edit. So I'm going to start with files. You would come up here to files. You would find this test list. Click it. And then up here in the right corner you'll see a box that says edit. You would click this box and it would open the editing screen for you. And then you could come down and say well I don't like pizza, but I really like pie. And I want you all to know it, so I'm going to underline it and give it a bullet so that you're all well aware of what I like. Then you save it. And again, it tells you that it's been done. So if I go back into the group and I look, it says, Debbie Stongalon edited a doc. This would say your name if you were the one who edited it. The other way you can do this is just to click doc. And you can come in here and you'll get the same exact screen. This edit box will be here and you can go in and edit it. Let me tell you why you want to do this and why you want to know how to do it correctly. First of all, if you are adding your address in maybe a group where everyone's saying where you can find them on the web, like maybe they're saying, hey, everybody list your Facebook page or your Pinterest address or give all of your information, you want to do this in the document and not in the comments for two reasons. One. That's just now how it's done, and it's unprofessional to put them in the comments. And number two, if somebody wants to go in and print this document, they're not going to see your information if it's in the comments. They will see it if you've actually edited the document. So as you can see, it's super easy, not a difficult thing to do. Uh, as I would always say, you can do this. And I hope that you will have learned something today and we'll take this forward as you go in and start editing documents in your own Facebook groups. Thanks a lot. Bye.